What's up superstars? We are starting off a new YouTube series called Zero to Hero. In this video series, we're gonna be covering artwork solutions where we turn graphics that are zeros to graphics that are heroes. We get a bunch of artwork submissions on a daily basis and unfortunately some of them are limited to the quality of the artwork that they have access to. Some of our customers just don't have access to the previous artwork from the previous printer and some are just limited to a web quality version of the artwork which in most cases is not ideal for printing DTF with. So in this video series, we're going to be covering and sharing videos of us fixing graphics. Some of them are hard, some of them are easy, but most importantly, we're gonna be sharing the fundamentals that you're gonna be learning to teach you how to fix these graphics so that you might be able to tackle one of these projects yourself in the future. So let's head over to our screen so I can share this current project with you guys and I'll let you guys know what is required in order for us to fix this. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is John and I'm a graphic designer for Transfer Superstars. Today we'll be working on artwork for KC Spa, one of our clients. We are going to make the artwork printable by bidding farewell to the background, but hold on to your hats. We're dealing with watercolor and unruly edges. With the help of Vectorizer, Dowel Eye, Photoshop, and Illustrator, we'll get right to this. After vectorizing the logo through Vectorizer.ai, we just have to download the file and then drag it into Illustrator. Now that it's in Illustrator, our next step is to remove the backgrounds and the unnecessary areas that we don't want in the logo. For example, we'll remove this white background and also the white background inside the box. We'll have to remove this black outline as well by using the Expand function. After expanding, we'll use Select Fill Color to select all the similar colors of the outline and then delete them using the Delete key. Now we've removed all the unnecessary objects that we don't need. Next, we'll bring this file to Photoshop to proceed with the artwork and make it a printable material. We're doing this in Photoshop since it's a watercolor effect, which can be challenging in Illustrator due to its vector type resulting in flat colors. Unlike Photoshop, which can easily replicate this effect. Now it's here in Photoshop and the white background is removed. However, we'll still have to bring back the original file. The original file is already decent but I had it upscaled for a larger file size and better quality to prevent pixelation. Now, let's overlay this one on top of the one we removed. The goal is to have its watercolor effect on the flower stick. Since the other objects are already vectorized, they're in high quality, but we need to manually remove the watercolor effect. I'll delete the background manually and keep the watercolor effect. As you can see, I am removing the white areas from under the overlay. I used a mask for this, and when using a brush with a mask that's on black, it will remove the areas you put the brush against. It's removing the background, and we are doing this on the layer behind. Of course, as you can see, it's still not very accurate. Select the upper layer, then the bottom layer, and move on with the mask. Now we are removing the unwanted areas properly while keeping the watercolor effect of the artwork. Grains are pretty normal since it's a watercolor effect and we'll match it so that the artwork itself stays intact.
We'll match the front and back layers and remove the objects we don't need, like this text, leaving it clean. The text is now clear and the white spots have been removed cleanly. The next step is to align them properly to eliminate any overlapping effects. Something like this. Of course we want the box to be clean inside with only the text, so we'll also have to remove the overlapping flowers inside the box. We'll remove it from both layers using the mask. Alright, that looks pretty great. Holding the shift button while using the brush will also ensure a straight line, which is a useful tip for creating straight lines. So I think it's looking pretty good. The texts are now vectorized, and we managed to preserve the watercolor effect of the flower artwork. Let's check if there are any unwanted objects remaining so we can remove them. But if there's none left to do, all we need to do is resize and save the artwork. And there you have it guys. Make sure you guys bookmark and save this video in case you want to refer back to some steps. We hope you found this video helpful and you learned a thing or two. If there's something specific you'd like to see or learn, please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please support the channel and smash that like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 and we need your help. If you want to see another awesome video where we utilize a very cool AI tool, make sure you check out that video next. My name's Phil. I'll catch you on that next one, guys.